Courtney and this is Joey and today's video is a little bit different I was planning on doing a training video this weekend however out of the blue I had a neighbor who told me they had to move to Nevada so across country and that they needed to do it um, this weekend and that they wanted a new house for their couch <laughs> so I happily took their offer and I got the new couch because my couches were really old and so I thought I would do today's video on how to ferret proof a couch. Um, ferrets like to scratch a lot and dig and it's just part of their nature because they were used to hunt rabbits and go down into tunnels and burrow so it's something that you can't really train out of a ferret is their digging instinct. That's why I try to give Joey a dig box with rice in it. Um, but ferrets have a tendency to want to dig the little cloth lining underneath couches and they'll ruin it. They'll dig through it. They'll try to climb up inside your couch. And it's unsafe for them to do that. And plus it destroys your couch. So um, I like to ferret proof them by putting something underneath the couch in order to stop them from being able to do that. So today's video is on how we did it. So first, oh, let me show you the couch before I start. Let me turn the camera. So this is the couch that my neighbors gave me. I'm really excited about it. It's a great couch. So. They gave it to me for free, so I thought that I would do the same, and I found a good home for my old couches. So, let's get started. I'll show you how we did it. Okay, so we flipped the couch over, and we're trying to... Oh, there's Joey knocking things over <laughs> on the table. Um, so, we flipped the couch over, and we just measure how long it is and how wide it is and write it down and then we take we're going to take it with us to the hardware store and buy what's it called John what's uh, stuff? Tempered, hardboard, tempered hardboard you can use other things as well some people use vinyl and some people like I've used chicken wire before and mesh but we're gonna try the tempered hardboard this time so now we're gonna go get the board so to make the couch we decide to use tempered hardboard it just looks like this it's really big so we had the people here at the hardware store cut it down to size to fit our couch so now we have gotten it cut down to the size of our cat's couch and my boyfriend John is pushing it along down say hi John hi John <laughs> Okay, so next you're going to want to take off the feet of your couch. It might be tight, so you're going to twist pretty hard. But they come, usually come off, and look like this. Got a little screw on there. Then when you're done with that, you're going to come and measure from here to here, and here to here, so you know where to drill on your board. All right. We're going to measure where the foot secures, so the center of the hole where the foot came out of, the center, not the edge. So you put it there, and this looks like it's about one and three quarters, you have to remember there's fabric and stuff there, and that looks like about two and a half. So then we'll take these measurements and uh, drill a hole where our foot will go through the board. Okay, so now John finished drilling the holes. And here, I'll show you on this one. <laughs> he drilled th holes through this, and now um, he put it back on top of the couch, and he's just putting the feet of the couch through it. So that'll hold it into place, and then... We're going to go around and put nails in also to support it so it'll stay on the bottom of the couch a little bit better. There's Joey! What do you think about this? Oh, 
Hey, Joey, do you have any thoughts? No? Okay. okay. So all the feet are back in the couch. We have put <laughs> six nails in the board. John's going to point to them like a good, like a flight attendant. <laughs> good job. And um, so now we are done putting that in and we are going to flip the couch over. All right, we flipped the couch and we are all done. Joey is investigating and hanging out with John at the moment and popping him in the face with his foot. <laughs> so I hope that if you ever need to ferret proof a couch that this video was helpful and I hope you have a good day. Bye.